It's the 25th of January and it's Burns Night tonight. And uh, Burns Night is a great celebration of Scottishness uh, all over the world, which means a lot to me because although Archer's not a Scottish name, my other three grandparents uh, are called Stuart, Mackenzie and Bruce. Queen Elizabeth of Bohemia was Scottish as well, the daughter of James VI of Scotland, James I of England. And uh, although she uh, was on the throne here for less than a year, if history had taken a different turn, then it might be that the Kingdom of Bohemia had uh, a Scottish royal family even today. Since I arrived here three years ago, I've been looking for Scottish Czech connections, and I found quite a few. Who knows, for example, that Jake Madden, a Scotsman, was uh, manager of Slavia Football Club here in Prague for more than 20 years and was credited really with introducing the modern game. Some of you may also remember last year when in marking the Prague uprising, we found a young Scottish soldier called Willie Gregg who played a small but critical part in the siege of Czech radio. Golf courses are of course another very Scottish thing. And uh, the first Czech golf course, the Royal Marianske Lasnie, uh, was designed by a Scotsman back in 1905. But back to Burns Night. Robert Burns was Scotland's great national poet, and he was particularly fond, of course, of haggis. But before we eat the haggis in his memory, uh, it has to be greeted, and that's done by reciting a piece of Burns' poetry. Happily, here at the British Embassy this evening, we have my Scottish colleague, Chris Freestone, who's going to do it for us, uh, dressed as he is in an entirely authentic way. Your powers where mak mankind you care, and dish them out your bill of fare. Old Scotland wants nae skinking wear that jobs and luggies, but if you wish a grateful prayer, gee her a haggis. Happy, Happy Burns, Burns Night. night.